towards your passion and do not copy others. I started off my business at the age of 17, turning almost 18. And that's when I took my hobby of painting into a business. And that's where mild and wild fashion, I know the name might sound tacky, but back then it was your um, spot where you can get anything to, to do with fabric, I would paint it. And all my style was into 3D. And then from there, that's when the journey began. Um, I got job opportunities to work in different companies. I grabbed as many opportunities as I can. There was a point where I would work three different jobs at the same time because being as a breadwinner of the family, I had to make sure the roof is covered, food is covered, etc. So from there, that's when I got um, an idea while I was working in one of the company. While I was, I was trying to think about what the country lacks and. What I thought of was we had a gap in the models and talents agency. We had a lot of models, a lot of talents in town, but an opportunity to create for them, to give them more chances, to develop their skills and talents. And that's when New Heights Agency kicked off. And then when New Heights Agency uh, began, uh, I would always be very thankful to all the people who supported the business, gave me a chance when I introduced to them that there's a new business in town. For the first two years, we made good enough uh, profit from just starting as a single person in the company. It became two. And then after it, I had a business partner. When he joined me, he helped me fight my fear to expand further. And that's when we reinvested uh, the profits and we opened the events business. So the first uh, lesson I would say would be your network is your net worth. The reason why I believe so much in that sentence is also because the more you increase your network, it's not about only knowing people in different fields that may help you out. It's about sincerely caring, creating and maintaining that connection. At the same time, you get to learn a lot. So then the second lesson I would say is to keep evolving, to be the learner of life. So there are different ways that you can always learn from. It may be books, it may be a podcast, it may be video. There are different ways that you can learn. But as long as you're going to keep learning, you, it will help you out with your innovation, your creativity, um, etc. So lesson number three would be create your own path and leave a trail. Be an example for others. Um, because this is when, when you create or come up with a business idea, instead of following others because you see it as a money-making business, instead you would work because you are passionate about it. When you wake up in the morning, it's not about waking up to it's another day to work kind of feeling. It's more about what else can I do today? What, how, how can I make a difference? And how can I create an impact for the community? And how can I inspire for someone else to follow their passion so they can also cover the gap in the market and cover the gap in the economy and that's basically what i believe in just go towards your passion and do not copy others yeah.